Hey, hey, Cancer. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your July 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, I love the card showing up for you because as I was shuffling, before I even looked at the bottom of the deck, I heard you are a guiding light to others. And you actually have the Wings card, which is my Aquarian energy, the age of Aquarius. It's a very spiritual energy, spiritual work. And then at the bottom of the deck, we actually have the light bulb. So confirmation, and look at this, we have the Buddha. You are a guiding light to others. So you could be really taking off in a direction where your heart's all in, right? This is in it to win it, but it's coming from a place of love. You're manifesting here from a place of love. This is really beautiful. I'm also hearing count your lucky stars. Count your lucky stars. So some of you, I mean, maybe this has to do with astrology. I mean, the majority of July is in cancer season. Some of you could be astrologists or perhaps there's destiny. I mean, the star in tarot is Aquarian energy as well. And I have my Aquarian card. So some of you may even have strong Aquarian energy in your chart. But the star card is about inspiration. So maybe that's part of it because you are a guiding light. You are an inspiration. You could also have a mentor, a coach, a healer enter your life that really helps you in ways that you never thought possible. Six of Pentacles. This is reciprocity. There is something here that is an equal exchange. So both parties are getting something from this. Now, you start off with the heart card, and you are a water sign cancer, and when you choose a path, you choose it because it means something to you when it comes to your career, when it comes to anything for that matter in your life, right? You got to feel the emotions, the intensity, and it has to feel like it's making a difference or you're being of service in some way, shape, or form. And we have the king of swords here. So... Some of you, the emotion that you once felt for your job or your why, it almost feels like you forgot. You forgot your why or perhaps that light within you was burnt out, right? You didn't feel the vitality. You didn't feel the love and that could be why this destiny piece or count your lucky stars there's some sort of shift or change occurring in your world and we have the lovers wow look at that we have the lovers so a couple of hearts showing up here bottom of the deck we do have the hermit a lot of soul searching a lot of hibernation you can see that the spider has gone under undercover here in a way to, to weave its web, to attract what it needs in this web of, of life. And that's kind of what I feel for you here. Now, I'm also getting Chicago and Amsterdam. So I'm not sure if those two are connected, tied together, if you're traveling there, if you have a business trip there, if you're from that area or location, take it as it resonates. I'm also getting here something around wellness, healing, and health. Some of you are in the wellness, healing, and health industry. It may not just be for people. It could be for pets because I'm seeing pets here. Some of you may also be taking your pet in the month of July for grooming, for it could be shots, it could be nails. Some of you may even be getting a new pet in the month of July. All right, let's dive into career here. We have heart. This does talk about being supported. You have counselor, guide, and having a job that you love. So like I said in the very beginning here, you are that guiding light. You could be a counselor, a mentor, a coach, a therapist, you know, a psychotherapist, whatever this is here for you. I feel like you, your heart is 
was all in, but I just feel like there's a rejuvenation happening. So if you haven't felt it lately, if you haven't felt motivated or inspired, that may be coming to an end. There's a shift happening here for you. And I also see that a lot of you could be entrepreneurs or you could be moving towards a path that you really love your people. You love your clients or your patients or the people that you work with. It may not be employees so much, okay? Some of you, I feel like there was an employee who was a little bit difficult if you work in the corporate world, because I do have King of Swords here, so someone could be a little bit straight edge or a little bit too blunt or too logical where you are a person who likes to keep your heart open. And I do feel that you're logical as well, Cancer, but someone around you, I feel, was very straight and narrow, and you may have taken it personally or perhaps... Their energy was toxic. I was just looking to see if we had any toxicity. I don't see any challenging cards here that talk about that person per se. But I also feel like you are connecting to people on a deeper level. It's like you get through to people. That may be one of your spiritual gifts or one of your gifts in general is you get people, you're empathic, you understand them. Some of you may even work by yourself. You could work in creative endeavors. Some of you, it's painting. Some of you, it's writing, journaling. I'm also getting something here with media. So perhaps you're in the spotlight. You're an actor. Perhaps some of you are writing a screenplay. Or I'm getting poetic energy here as well. Very poetic, very elegant. There could even be an event that you dress up for in the month of July. I'm not sure if it's related to work here. It could be. It may have to do with your birthday, Cancer, but I feel like you're going to dress up, female or male, it doesn't matter, but you're going to see all the love pouring in. You are going to see that you are very much supported. You may even have joint finances here. This could be uh, spousal joint finances. This could be partnerships, clients, uh, corporations, coming something coming together, something that you really love with your outcome, the lovers. So do pay attention to emotional spending, but if you have the money to spend on yourself, okay, or another person could be spending on you, I see something with a card, I don't know if this is a gift card, a credit card, but I feel like you are being treated here or you're treating yourself. But if you don't have that extra money, just be mindful because we do have emotional spending here. Now, we have the wings, Aquarian energy, rising above money issues. This could be a business taking off, profiting. It's spiritual work. It's life purpose. It's mission. And the fact that you have the Buddha here as well, a lot of you are, again, a shining light. Count your lucky stars. There is spiritual wealth coming in here that's available. And I do see that there's an opportunity for financial wealth if you're not already living this, because you have the gold bar. This is solid finances, but I feel like the spiritual piece comes in first. I mean, doesn't the spiritual piece always come in first, but it's coming from a place of manifesting from the heart, not the ego. Something is taking off here in a big way, and then we see the money coming in. But this is about more than just money, right? It's life purpose, life mission. And now we have the gold bar. You're investing in things that energize you, that vitalize you, that rejuvenate you. This is about your deep values, who you are on you know, a core level. Some of you may even be in a position that is satisfying, right? I keep seeing this energy of having a job that you love. Satisfaction, this is purpose, this is mission. And if you don't feel like you're in that, there's a turn, there's a choice that is going to direct you moving to move towards this new path, okay? Because we have the eggs card at the bottom of the deck, and that's about starting over. And there's the health care. There's new opportunities, insurance. Some of you could be agents. But there is a position coming in or that you're currently a part of that could be long-term. Think of the gold bar. It's been around forever. This is long-term energy. It's retirement. It's Banking, it could be uh, funds that 
You don't touch now, right? I see something growing here, something accruing either inter uh, interest or it is gaining more abundance over time and you can rely on this. Okay, I don't know what this is here for you. If it is an investment or if it's some sort of, uh, you know, business, it could be real estate, whatever it may be. I do see something accruing and accumulating more. So you're in the positive. Okay, you're in the positive here. This is a good thing. All right, with the light bulb, you're being, you're re-sparking an energy within yourself. I'm also getting some of you that may have put a project on the back burner or maybe that class you've wanted to take or that book you've wanted to write. I feel like there's a re-spark or a rejuvenation to get something fired up, but it may not come from the same place, right? Because you're manifesting from a different energy this time around. So you could have an idea still to write that book, but perhaps the whole plot is completely different. Or maybe the genre is different, or maybe you go from fiction to nonfiction. So I feel like there is going to be a change in direction or a change in the wind here for you, but go with it because there's inspiration coming in at every angle here in the month of July. Entrepreneurship, new jobs, creative, creative work, and being recognized for your work, for your skills. A lot of you are very, very talented. And people want what you have to offer here. We have interview showing up cancer with negotiation right behind it. So if you are interviewing for a new position or if you are interviewing someone else, some of you may work in HR, some of you may be bringing a new person on board. Okay. Oh, some of you definitely work in insurance because we have insurance showing up here twice, but we have we're hiring so for those of you that are looking for a new opportunity or you're looking to bring people on board, someone's hiring here. We have an interview coming in and we see a contract being negotiated. Three, these three cards coming out together, there could be three interviews, there could be three interactions with this company or something around third time's a charm. And as I said that, I seen three, three on the clock. So negotiating contracts, negotiating offers, we have insurance. Some of you sell insurance, or this could also be that you have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the support. You see that there's a mountain to climb. It's not easy, but they're almost to the top and there's already someone there. That could be the coach. That could be the mentor. That could be that spiritual guru that we talked about. I'm surprised we haven't seen the Hierophant here, but I feel like you have help. So you're not all by yourself. I mean, this could be the help of clientele, growing your business. It could be if you have a YouTube channel, your subscribers, your people, right? There is something here about you being insured, but at the same time, your work speaks for itself is what I'm getting here. And that may be why it's insured because regardless of maybe what happens externally, you know you, spirit knows you. I'm getting authenticity here is important. Truth is important. Integrity is important. And we see that showing up on the gold bar. It's something you can trust in, right? Some of you, there is a maybe a logo that has wings, a logo that has a heart. I see something around confidentiality and something around trust. Someone may have a logo or a mission statement around trust. Like you can trust us, something of that nature, or it could just be the integrity of a company or integrity of your business is about trust. Someone could be getting a new vehicle. We have new assets. This could be a new phone, cell service. Someone may even be shopping around for new insurance plans. Uh, this could be a new laptop. I mean, new assets doesn't have to be a vehicle, but if there is a new opportunity coming in, you could certainly be saving for something new that you want. New to you, it doesn't have to be brand new. 
I am getting the overspending card again because we have emotional spending and overspending. We have to point that out. Uh, try to maybe d be diligent around spending this month because at the end of the month, you could say, whoa, I spent way more than I wanted to. I'm also getting an energy of boundaries when it comes to spending. That may be why you have negotiating here, negotiating an offer not paying either full price or full, yeah, some some form of full asking price, unless you want, of course, but I feel like there could be a better deal coming in. I'm also getting someone upping their prices. Now, if you work for a company or if you work for yourself, there could be talk of adjusting pricing or adjusting sales here because you do have the selling card. And I feel like you could be in sales. Didn't we say that earlier? Sales and finance. <clears throat> uh, or maybe some of you are talking to a bank. This could be real estate. Some of you may be setting up your own shop. Maybe you're selling items online or you are opening up a restaurant. I'm getting juicing here. Some of you, this has to do with food, cooking, baking. Maybe you're opening up a soul bar here and selling mocktails, but I feel like the selling piece is possibly even cryptocurrency. Didn't we say we had that? I thought we had crypto. I'm getting a lot of messages for you, but you could be selling something or buying something in the month of July uh, that actually it does benefit you. It's something that you really love with the lover's card. You have a choice to make though. It may, some of you, it may be a little bit above that may be why the negotiation is coming here. Maybe a home, maybe an office space, or even a job where you have a, a higher asking price and they don't want to pay you as much, but you negotiate and meet in the middle. And that may be why we see the six of pentacles starting off here. Because you can see that on this card, you see that there's a little scab that this bird keeps pecking at, at the top of his head, right? And at first, this bull probably doesn't notice because, you know, one, one and done, you don't really notice a small little peck. But when it starts to get repetitive and over and over and over and over, it starts to form this deep gash, right? And that's what it can feel like when people use and abuse, right? You do it once, that's fine. Like, hey, yeah, I'll pick up your slack or I'll work overtime for you. But then when people start to expect it, when people start to take advantage and instead of asking, they just assume. And then over time, it builds resentment. And instead of it kind of being, you know, based on reciprocity, there's a big wound that starts to form. And that's what we want to avoid. And that may have been what happened in the past here, Cancer. But I do like the Six of Pence showing up for you because it is in the upright, which means there could be an unexpected offer showing up for you. This could be a gift, a donation, a grant, a scholarship. This could even be generosity, financial assistance, something with equal give and take, not resisting help, okay? Not resisting help. I feel like help's on the way and you're not going to be taken advantage of. You're not, and maybe that's the boundaries as well showing up here for you. It's setting healthy boundaries, but also not allowing other people to wound you or scar you and keep picking at you until you eventually have your light bulb go out. <clears throat> so you've learned some valuable lessons I see here in the past. Your next card out, we have the King of Wands. Okay, I didn't even see him coming up, but now I know why. We have the King of Wands, the King of Swords with the Emperor. Whoa, okay. So there could be two people in the mix here. It almost feels like a past, a past job, a future position. Some of you may have been dealing with Okay, if this, I'm getting a couple stories here. If this is you, I mean, we have three very, very powerful masculine energies of, of action, right? Some of you could have been dealing with a boss, with the emperor, and perhaps you wanted more freedom with the king of wands. You wanted to express yourself, share your ideas. You know, you're very active, very passionate, very goal-oriented, very driven. This is entrepreneurial energy. 
And it's interesting to note that the crow is also on this lion's head as well, as this bird is on the bull's head. So I feel for some of you, this king of swords may have taken advantage of you. And it could have been someone that you worked with. So this makes sense with what we are seeing earlier. Because not that the king of swords, you know, is, is bad, right? But when he's not showing up in his strength, he can be angry, hot-headed, not in touch with his emotions. He can be very military, very uh, regime, very structured, very routine. He can be very blunt. He can come across as, you know, very hard, very difficult to deal with. And I feel like you may, some of you may have taken this to the boss, female or male, doesn't matter, but you could have taken it to the top or you may have worked in the corporate world for quite some time and did what you needed to do to survive, to grow your skills, to pay bills, to take care of the family. And then you decided to go off on your own, or that may be a choice that you're making here to become an entrepreneur to leave some sort of structure, some sort of routine, and really step into more of a leadership role. And this could also be a leadership role within a company. Some of you, you were fighting for seniority or you were fighting for a promotion is what I'm getting here. Spirit, can we please clarify here in my mind's eye, the King of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, right away, the Three of Wands came up. So there's growth here. If this King of Wands is representing you in this case, I feel like there's growth. And that's why the Emperor is here, because you have some really great ideas. And for some of you, this is all three archetypes of you, right? You're logical. You know, King of Swords in the upright is intelligent, very experienced, very wise, very clever, very knowledgeable. And the King of Wands is saying, yes, I have what it takes to grow this into a business, right? I've learned what I've needed to learn. And now I can step up into a, a position of leadership, of structure, of routine, but in a way that works for you. It doesn't have to be how someone else did something. Okay, or how a different company has done something. I just feel like you're leveling up. It's like you're breaking through a glass ceiling here. Next up, we have the Page of Swords. There's the opportunity. I also see with this Page of Swords, it could represent news. Okay, ready for a new challenge. This is about curiosity. It is about facts. So maybe this King of Swords, if this is someone else or if this is you, there could be news that takes you to the next level. Page of Swords. Sometimes people think that the Page of Swords isn't good news, but I feel like it's about the facts, right? It's about curiosity. It's searching for the truth. It is about new ideas, and it's showing up here in a, a good position. But you can see that he's represented as the weasel, and weasels can sneak their way into anything. So be mindful of words that are just words without action. Now, I don't really get that because we have three masculine energies which are about action, but if this King of Swords is someone who it resonates with you, someone who is very blunt, egoic, right, hot-headed, they could be delivering or dishing out some news that may not be honest or ethical. They could be a weasel here, especially if this is a competitor or this is someone who's also trying to get a position of, you know, seniority of some sort of hierarchy here. They may say what they need to say to try to get a position. But if you're honest and you're manifesting from the, the heart, I wouldn't even worry about it. But for the majority of you, this is some good news. Stay curious, stay open, and trust in not just the logic, but trust in your heart to lead you and guide you. Blend the head and the heart. You will go far. You will reach that emperor status. The emperor builds his empire, and that's what I see you doing here, Cancer. Final outcome is the lovers. You see the two scorpions there with the... The moth, which represents, I think this is some form of very powerful death moth. I forget what the name of it is, but it represents major transformation in the spiritual and physical. 
and the lovers is Gemini energy around partnerships, balance, decisions, and soul contracts. It's also the card of destiny and trust, right? And we talked about that trust piece earlier. So there is a new contract coming in that will be based on balance. That is a perfect partnership. And this King of Wands, King of Swords, this could be the partnership where both of you step into that emperor position, female or male. Maybe you're working with, I mean, it doesn't matter, but both of you are on the same level here. So you take the story as it resonates for you, but the outcome is beautiful because I feel like this is a coming together. There is a divine counterpart here. And maybe some of you may feel a tad bit intimidated if this, because I almost feel like, <clears throat> for a lot of you, this King of Wands, King of Swords has the potential to work together to both, you know, combine in that Emperor energy. But you may be wondering, is this person a weasel? Can I trust them? Can I work with them? It may just intimidate you because their energy is a little bit different. But I feel for those of you, if this story is where there's two people coming in to the mix, you and another business, uh, corporation, client, partnership, the heart's here. So I feel like this could be a very beautiful union that could bring in a lot of new ideas. Don't let uh, perhaps past energies, because we have the card of reciprocity. There is something here about balance. You've learned, you have healthy boundaries, you're manifesting from a place of heart. So if this is two people coming together to really create something quite significant, quite beautiful, I feel like this could work. For others of you, if this is, Someone who has already shown you their true colors with the King of Swords, if they've shown you that they can be shady, sneaky, and like a weasel, I feel like you don't really have anything to worry about. The manifestation of the heart is going to speak for it in itself. But I like the lovers showing up here for you. Balance. Let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Cancer, please? Yeah, there's definitely negotiations of contracts here. And someone may feel like they're left out. If you leave a job or if you leave a company and go elsewhere, I feel like that company or that boss is really going to feel like they lost a good one. Okay, uh, because you do have orphaned here. And remember, we did see the hermit at the bottom of the deck, but look at what's right behind the hermit. You can't make that up. We have the wheel of fortune and the sun. Okay, right behind the deck. So again, if you felt like you've been orphaned, if you've been left out in the cold in some way, shape, or form, it's card five. Five is about change. There is a wheel of fortune, destiny stepping in here to bring you a lot of happiness. This can be a sense of loss, maybe even an identity crisis recognizing that maybe you don't fit in in a certain area maybe your heart's not in it anymore right uncertainty about your place this card reminds you that you can't be all things to all people and that brings me back to this six of pentacles remember what i said about that bird it's okay to say yes once right to say yeah i'll, I'll cover your shift i don't mind if you pay me back the favor or even, you know, out of the kindness of your heart, because you do have a big heart, but it's when we don't say no enough or don't say, you know, no is a complete sentence, as they say, and you don't want that scar or that scab to start festering over time. And it says you're not going to be popular with everyone and that has to be okay with you. Be clear about your mission, your brand, your work persona, and your contribution to the world. As these must be based on what you authentically have to author, uh, to author. well some of you are authors, to offer. And we said that earlier, authenticity was really showing up here in your reading. It says, uh, your contribution to the world, as these must be based on what you authentically have to offer, not something you think will sell or you perceive they want. You will attract abundance by being completely yourself. Stay in your own lane. That's where you will shine and that's where you will experience complete prosperity. That makes sense, right? Because six of pentacles is boundaries. We do have the hermit here. 
the hermit, you know, the spider staying in its own little lair down there. It's not bothering anyone. It's focusing on what it needs to do to prepare that web, which is what you're doing. Then the wheel of fortune comes in and says, okay, we're manifesting here. You've been putting in the work. This is leading to a lot of abundance with the sun. The sun is Leo energy and Leo is showing up towards July and a lot of you yeah, this is a July reading. A lot, a lot of you towards the end of July are going to see this happiness and this abundance. I'm really loving this. Leo season could be a big one. Cancer, Leo, you are shifting paradigms is what I'm picking up on here. I am going to talk about the shadow side of the orphan because for some of you, like I said, if the story resonates where this king of swords is a, you know, a piece of work, we'll just call him a piece of work. This is someone that you were dealing with, very shady, like to cut, cut with that sword. The shadow side of this card speaks to the essence of abandonment. Maybe it felt like this king of swords in some way abandoned you. Perhaps you feel a need to remain apart because it's, it's too threatening. It also warns against creating inappropriate structures in order to conceal old wounds. It's time to address the unhealthy alliances you've formed and make a decision to heal the past. I mean, I keep being seen that six of pentacles. There's something here that may have been deeply ingrained and notice that it's at the crown chakra. So this is a belief. This may have to do with a belief. Like I can't say no, I'll disappoint them. Or I have to please others. I have to be a people pleaser or, you know, a perfectionist or I have to do this right or whatever belief this is, it's actually scarred you. It's actually damaged uh, some of the processes here. And the lover's card is saying you have a choice to do things differently, to address the unhealthy alliances. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole, right? The emperor, he's whole. And I feel like not all of these dynamics are going to disappoint you. But because they have in the past or because this king of swords has... That is a belief that you are addressing. Don't abandon yourself. You can connect to others in a healthy way. Once you recognize your patterns and consciously choose to interrupt them, life wants to love you. Let it. Absolutely. Life wants to love you. Let it, Cancer. We have the lovers. We have the heart. You are a shining light. You inspire a lot of people here. All right. Let's get a few messages from your animal spirits. And at this time, Cancer, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And upon your exhale, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps this animal is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge or one that you currently have at home. Perhaps your animal has visited in your dreams through a meditation or recently crossed your path in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do, Cancer, is drop your animals in the comment section below the video. And be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, what do we have, please, for Cancer, July 2024? What messages do we have for Cancer? <clears throat> 
Did someone see a pig, a little piglet? I'm getting pig energy here for some of you. All right. We have moth spirit. Moth. And I have to, to mention, we actually have, where is that card? On the lovers. Look at that. This is the same exact moth that's on the lovers, right? It's, it's very powerful. It says surrender now. So surrender to love. What would love do? Card 39. Some of you may be 39 years old. Some of you may have seen a butterfly or a winged creature. We have card 21. You may be born on the 21st, the 3rd, the 7th, you may be 35 or 49. We have Dove Spirit, card 21. It says, be at peace. This is also the energy of the world. So you have completed some very big cycles and lessons. You're ready to bring more abundance, more peace, more prosperity into your world, the Dove. No surprise here. Armadillo says, set healthy boundaries, right? Card three, set healthy boundaries. And that's what we've been talking about here when it comes to all areas of your life, not just career. If you have some of those patterns of people pleasing or perfectionism, I'm getting procrastination even. You are being guided to break out of those old molds, those old concepts, those old beliefs. Set healthy boundaries for yourself and others. And when you do, B spirit comes in and says, sweet results await. Yes, they do. We see that sun and the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. You may not quite see it yet, but it's here because koala says spirit has a plan. Koala spirit. And then lastly, your final card here for the animals is rabbit. Now is a lucky time. Count your lucky stars, right? The lucky rabbit's foot. And this is fertility. You can see that there's baby bunnies there as well. So some of you may even be seeing a lot of bunnies. I know where I'm at. They are multiplying. I just had a bunch of bunnies eat all of my, my plants and my flowers outside, but they are multiplying. So this is about fertility and growth and abundance and sharing and spreading the love, right? As much as I love my plants and flowers, those little guys were hungry too. So just have to do something different next time. Last but not least here, let's get a message from your soul's truth and see what advice your soul has for you at this time. All right, Cancer, what do we have? Another card around trust and truth. How can I deepen my trust right now? And it brings me back to your first card, Moth, Surrender. It says, trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. Here's the wheel, Wheel of Fortune. You can trust yourself, Cancer. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action, let go and trust Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself. Be certain with who you are so that you can deepen your trust in others. I like that here for you. There is a deepening of trust coming in and I see next level energy. I feel like that emperor is about a lot of you believing that you are worthy of a position, worthy of working for uh, a company or working for this boss, if this is someone else. But if it's you, if this is a characteristic of you and you're stepping into boss mode, you're building your empire, it requires you to trust in your gifts, in your spiritual path. You have a lot of spiritual cards out here today. So don't second guess your own intuition. Don't second guess your purpose, your mission. Because you are here to be that guiding light. You are here to really shine bright. So count your lucky stars, Cancer, because this is going to be a very powerful month for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you guys like your reading, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to drop your power animals in the comment section below the video to be entered into that free reading giveaway. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button. Thank you so very much for tuning in today, Cancer. Lots of love.